guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Tampa Honda, and what we have is Honda's largest SUV, the Honda Pilot. Now, the Honda Pilot, this generation, has been around since 2016, but probably the most exciting news is that for 2019, they've decided to refresh it. Not redesign, but refresh, because the problem with the Pilot, it's got a little bit minivanish over the years, and Honda wants to stop that. They've listened to the customers, they listened to people that maybe were potential customers, and they decided, you know what, for 2019, let's do a refresh. So let's go ahead and take a look of the front of this Honda Pilot. So you'll see how they went ahead and redesigned the whole front fascia, give it more of an SUV look, give it more personality. I like what they did here with some aggressive lines of the front fascia, nice flat black, all the way around into the lower portion. You do have a faux vent, so I am gonna zonk that. I wish they would have just left this flat or something like that instead of putting this fake uh, vent grill in here. But you do have, of course, functional fog lamps and a little bit of chrome because that's really gonna separate the Pilot from, say, the Passport, is this is gonna have some more chrome features to it when it comes to the aesthetics. Overall, I like the what they did with the headlight design, the marker light, LED, all blends in nicely and flows into the chrome grill. I'm waiting to see where Honda is going to take their grills because for some people, if you ask them, they think this whole front end is unattractive. It does look very tidy and I like the way that it's clean. You got the chrome, just a little bit of gloss black, obviously painted front bumper. And then as we drop down, I like the way they went with the silver across the middle area. Definitely just that one touch there gives it a more SUV aggressive look. As we go up onto the hood, you can see how you have some prominent lines that actually get raised and then kind of fade near the back. What that is gonna do is, is as you're looking out over that hood, none of those body lines are gonna get in your way. As we come around the corner, you can see how that uh, black really flows well into the design, comes around the fender flare, and then you have these 20 inch wheels, gloss black, brushed aluminum. If you notice though, I like the way that they blacked out some of the portions of the wheel just to kind of give it a more slim look. But 20 inch wheel, nice amount of clearance between the top of the tire and inside of the fender. Let's go ahead and continue down the side. So with the Pilot, like I said, you're gonna get a little bit more chrome. Chrome top and bottom, gloss black, with very slim, look how slim and trim those LED turn single lights are. And I like the way that they brought the white into the mirrors. It really sparkles. It's almost got a nice pearl to it. As we go up onto the roof, you have a sparkly silver cross rails, which you then can attach the, the, the roof rails. You could do the crossbars to them. I like how you have those chrome touches, door handle down here on the lower sill, but I think it was smart to go mostly black plastic, flat black on the lower sill, all the way back to the rear tire. Very nice body lines, top and bottom, flow down to this very large glass area. And I think it was smart to keep this gloss black because it really just makes it look like one piece of glass. The chrome trim kind of flares out near the rear. And then as we wrap it around, tasteful taillight design. I know there's been a lot of debate about Honda Accord stapler, lobster claw, all this kind of stuff. Very tasteful, very simple, C-shaped um, taillight design. And then the tailgate area, I like the way how, how smooth it is. When you're backing this up, if you have a wall there, you don't have to worry about anything protruding. A very simple roof spoiler off the top, nothing too large, nothing too crazy. And I think it was smart to continue the black ABS from the front, and then there's that silver. Very nicely done. If I'm gonna zonk the back of this, I would like to see twin exhaust outlets. I think it would help with the overall SUV look and just give it more of an upscale feel. But let's go ahead and see what the heck is piloting this. All right, guys, here we are underneath the hood of the Honda Pilot. That is that naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 engine, 280 horsepower, 
262 foot-pounds of torque. This one is mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission, no CVTs on this. Depending on how you get it optioned, if you get all-wheel drive or not, you're looking at a weight between 4,100 pounds to 4,350 pounds. Zero to 60 is about six seconds, quarter mile and 14.6, top speed of 115 miles an hour. If you're wondering about those MPGs, 18 in the city, 27 in the highway. I think if we're gonna zonk underneath the hood, it actually is not just about what's underneath the hood. What can you tow with this? You can only tow up to 3,500 pounds with the Honda Pilot, but that's gonna be the major zonk of that whole under the hood scene. Let's go ahead and fire her up and see what she sounds like. All right, guys, here we are inside the Honda Pilot. This one is that touring trim level. Now there is one trim higher. So if you're looking for certain things uh, like ventilated seats, this one doesn't have it, but it has a lot of other features. Let's go ahead and start with the door panels. When you look at the door panel, you're gonna see a lot of dark black, but I think in a way that's a good thing. A lot of families are gonna use this vehicle and we all know that kids get things dirty and it's gonna be easy for the black plastics to hide all that dirt. Nice bit of uh, gloss black trim, little bit of silver on the door handle. I like the way there's like a split level to the pockets and the armrest is actually pretty soft for a Honda, believe it or not. As we transition from the door to the dash, I like the way that it's very pushed forward and it's very flat. Gives it a great, for you know, great uh, use of visibility for you. Very soft material all the way across. You have a nice eight inch infotainment screen with navigation, very, very uh, easy to use, very smooth functioning. The colors are great, fonts are great. You have our radio knob is back in many of the Honda mo models. I know so many people are so excited about that. Little touches of gloss black, not too much. I think it was smart to go flat black on the AC controls. This one is optioned with that CD, DVD, Blu-ray disc player, and we'll get to that when we get to the back seats. Heated seats, no ventilated, so I am gonna zonk it, because I think at an MSRP of $43,000, this Honda should have ventilated seats up front. USB and a 12 volt in this nice little cubby area, and as we transition from the cubby area, very slim, very trim because of the push button that's gonna operate that nine-speed automatic transmission. I know a lot of people wanna know about key fobs. There's the very tasteful, very simple uh, key fob for the Honda. It, it really has a nice weight and it's a great use with those cup holders. Here's where all that gloss black is probably gonna annoy everybody with all the fingerprints. But once you slide this cadenza type of thing uh, back, it actually has a nice large opening for the center console. You have USB and another 12 volt in here and a sliding uh, little tray. My problem with this whole setup are these things. I don't like these captain's chairs. I wish that they made the armrest wider. I've been talking about that for a while now. I'm sure some of you are sick of it. I'm sick of listening to myself about it, but I would like to see a little wider armrest and, and not this ratcheting thing. But anyways, seats, they are a nice leather material on the softer side, but they are very supportive very wide and very long. So they're even for taller people with longer legs, they are gonna nestle you very nicely. I also like the fact that they're darker material, which is gonna help with the dirt. What isn't dark is the headliner. I like the way they went with a nice lighter material on the headliner. You have a, um, a nice size uh, sunroof here for the driver and the passenger and helps to bring some of that light in. And it's real nice the way they have all the controls tucked up, frame, frameless mirror, nice and slim, out of the way so you don't have a big bulky thing just hanging in front of your face. But why don't you come on over to the driver's side and I'll show you the business end. All right guys, business end of the Honda Pilot. Now, you do get full electric assist for the driver and the passenger. Lots of great uh, movability as you can see as I disappear and I go to sleep. But anyways, back again. I like the overall feel of the steering wheel, the size. What I don't like are the steering wheel controls. I'm gonna zonk this. This needs to be updated to the thumb drives like on the Honda Accord. But I do like the feel of the steering wheel and the thickness. 
dash area. Dash area is very clean, very straightforward, as you would expect on a Honda. Analog uh, uh, coolant, analog fuel gauge, which we're almost empty, and then you have a digital tachometer and speedometer up there with what uh, gear that you're in for the transmission. And then you could toggle through all different things with your range and whatnot, but uh, very nice setup in here and lots of headroom, very wide as well to give you that shoulder room. But let's go ahead and check out the back seat. All right, guys, mid row seat. Can't say back seat because this is not the back of the back because remember this Honda Pilot is three row capable. I do like the amount of room back here for the mid row passengers. I like the way that the leather all covers everything, especially on the backs of the passenger seats. They wrap the leather all the way around. Very nice size uh, pocket here for any type of books or devices. You have a nice little side pocket for a phone. I think that's smart because you know when you your kids drop the phone in there, uh, they're going to be fishing it out for a year. So it's nice that they have it right there. Here's the ultimate command center. You have rear AC. You have the controls for that. Heated seats for the mid-row passengers. And then look at the plethora of uh, power sources. Two USBs. You got that wonderful, it really clips well, wonderful AC outlet back here. And then this is equipped because it has the Blu-ray DVD player. You have a place for the kids to plug in their headsets. You even have a jack for an HDMI uh, cable, which is a nice touch as well. As we go from there up top, here's that wonderful command center with that uh, full screen that's going to allow you to pop a movie in for the kids on a trip and it's going to keep them quiet, which is really, really nice. When it comes to the seats, I really love what Honda does with the sliding ability. I also like the way that they recline as well. So that's another nice touch. But, you know, it was like we were filming and I couldn't get Tom out of this mid row because he just kept doing his leg presses and stuff because we're trying to get in as much workout time for him. When it comes to the doors, two cup holders on each door. And then I think it's very smart that there is a sunshade on the door. That's going to help keep some of those rays out, especially if you have some younger children, some uh, maybe some younger babies, some newborn babies or something like that. Hopefully you don't have some because that seems like something's going on there. But, uh, you know, it's nice to have that extra protection for them. Let's go ahead. Probably the biggest part of this whole deal is that back seat. But hold on. Before we do that, let me show you. There is a button on the back of the seat here for your passenger to get into the third row. You push that forward and then it allows this nice open area for them to get in the third row. Cup holders galore. The one thing Honda forgot is USB jacks back there. We all know the kids sitting in the back, that power source, they need it, their technology goes dead, and then they're making your life misery. So I would like to see a change in that. It does have rear AC all the way to the back, which is a great plus because we want, don't want them to complaining about how hot they are. But let's go ahead finally and check out how much space do you have in a Honda Pilot? All right, guys, that most important time, what can you put in the back of an SUV? Anybody who buys an SUV, not just about the people, it's about what can you put in it. So tailgate opens, power assist, and you can see, just like many other three-row capable SUVs, you don't get a lot of space here, but I like what Honda does. So what they did is they made a very smart little storage area down here to help even even out the load you also have some very nice cubby areas on both sides speaking of both sides you do have a 12 volt back here and then once it's time to put the seats down it's an easy one two three thing you just pull on the fabric brick cords and they go down now if you're wondering Joe, can you show us how to put those seats down in the middle row that's where i'm going to zonk it there's no buttons back here for us to get those seats down. So that's a problem. I wish they would have had those buttons that are on the back of the, of the seats there. I wish they would have them because what you're gonna have to do is, is you're gonna have to swing all the way around and then you're gonna have to come up here to flatten this out and move things around, which is gonna be a little annoying. I don't really like that setup, uh, but it is one of those things that, hey, I'm sure there's gonna be a redesign pilot and I'm sure that is gonna be one of the things that they're gonna hopefully redesign. But one thing I just want to show you, I love the 
the cloth uh, pull ropes here because to pull it up, it's a one, two, three thing. So you lock it in and then you pull the headrest back up and then you would do it for that side. So that is the one nice advantage instead of having power lifting seats. Those things could take forever. The motors could get worn out. It's one, two, three with the strap. Speaking of one, two, three, let's go ahead and take this Honda Pilot for a spin. All right, guys, we're leaving Tampa Honda. We're in the 2019 Honda Pilot. What's really wonderful, I noticed off the bat, is the great visibility. Like I was pointing out earlier, those corner windows in the front door glass really helps with visibility. Just You would think that how can those small little windows do anything? It really just allows you to be able to see a lot easier. Even out the back window, during going all the way back to that third row with the large glass, visibility is good. Side mirrors are a great size and um, overall just feel really in command of this pilot. I like the fit and finishes where I'm touching. Um, you know, now that I'm driving it a little bit, the captain's chair isn't too bad. I just wish it was a little wider and I wish it wasn't ratcheting, uh, like I mentioned earlier. Um, nine speed automatic, we got that uh, V6 underneath the hood. I'm gonna go ahead and get on it. Drops down and starts to pull. So very interesting how that nine speed reacts. Let me show you again. Actually getting some wheel chirp. All that power going to the 280 horsepower, going to those front wheels is actually um, creating a little bit of wheel spin from a very slow roll. And remember that is quite impressive in a vehicle that weighs 4,100 pounds. You can get the Pilot with all-wheel drive, but this one does not have that option. I do like the infotainment screen. Great size, really easy to navigate through. AC controls are great. Everything really is exactly where you think it's going to be. Um, the center display with uh, all the digital readouts and everything, very clear to understand. And you could toggle through, like I was telling you about, all different types of functions, whether you're looking at your fuel range, um, all different types of functionality to this Honda Pilot. It does come with the full suite of safety features that Honda has been developing, lane keep assist and uh, adaptive cruise control and all that. So that's really, um, wonderful to keep your family safe. And then you also do have this econ mode that you could go into. Now that's not econ as in 12th grade economics class, but it's gonna help you um, really get maximum MPGs in this. Remember, in the city, you're looking at 18 miles per gallon in this full size SUV. All right guys, making a right hand turn here. Um, you know, the, the suspension, is working really well. Uh, it's not floaty. I feel nice and planted. Uh, let me go ahead and roll on the throttle again. This time I'm just gently rolling on it. Zero to 60 in six seconds or so. So uh, pretty peppy for a large vehicle like this. And I'm glad that they went uh, with that um, automatic transmission instead of the CVT. Even over the bumps, nothing jarring. Everything is, is rock solid inside the Pilot. Um, they use really good sound deadening material, which is going to help with that whole overall keeping it quiet experience and just so easy to get to everything. Everything is within arm's reach, which is really, really nice. And I, and I like that about the pilot, especially for a larger SUV. And that's the thing, the feedback that you're getting from the front wheels is really, really good in this pilot. And I like that because I want to feel connected, especially because I am driving a larger vehicle. Steering feel, I would personally me, I like a little bit more weighted steering wheel feel, um, but it's not too bad. And I think for most people, uh, the steering feedback that you're going to get from the electric rack in this pilot is going to be really spot on for you. But brake modulation is great and going over those speed humps is, uh, is, is no drama whatsoever. But going down this nice little curvy road here, it handles very well. I don't feel floaty when you get on the brakes. There's not a lot of heavy nose drop to it. 
And the best part is just being able to see clear. That's what I really, really like about it. All right, guys, hopefully this gave you an idea of just what it's like to drive the Honda Pilot. I guess the great news is, is that it doesn't look like a minivan anymore uh, because of the refresh. And I really feel that it, it doesn't drive like a minivan. I feel like it does drive like an SUV and, and it's a great size, especially if you need that three row capability. But we're gonna wrap this up and get back to Tampa Honda, so stay tuned. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful day here at Tampa Honda. Definitely gotta give a huge thank you and a shout out to Christian and everybody else here at the dealership bringing you this redesigned, refreshed Honda Pilot. If these are the types of things you like to see on Radies Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you are new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Check out all my different forms of social media. You know what they're called. It's all Radies Rides original content all the time. If you want some merch, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. And then, of course, we got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, working that camera. Speaking of camera, Tom has started his own new Instagram page called Mosh Photos. And I'm going to put that in the video right now. That Go check that out on Instagram. See what he is capturing with his eyes and that lens. It's unbelievable what Tom is doing at the gym and with a camera. But like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.